All right, uh, Floyd uh, sports fans, I'd like to welcome you to Buffalo Field on a cool evening. Uh, we're bringing you live cable, Citizens Cable television uh, viewing of the game tonight here that's going to be your local Floyd Buffaloes uh, playing the visiting uh, Bobcats, Bobcats from Radford. Uh, we got some chilly weather in store, I believe, before this game is over. But uh, we're getting getting ready to start and getting underway. Uh, Floyd County will be kicking the ball off to begin the ball game. No, excuse me. Rafford will be kicking the ball off. Floyd will be receiving the initial kickoff tonight. And uh, we're just a few minutes away from in, from the kickoff and the start of the ball game and. Uh, what we got tonight, folks, is a game of uh, two undefeated teams. Both Floyd and Radford, both are undefeated. The kick went off. It was somewhat of an onside kick attempt by the Bobcats, and the, uh, bo the Buffaloes were able to recover the ball on the 50-yard uh, line to start the game. So it's going to be first, in, uh, first down and 10 Start this ball game on Buffaloes have got the ball in good field position to start this game again. Both these teams coming in undefeated. Uh, Floyd having a good showing last week, um, have not been challenged really to any degree yet. But these Bobcats are big, they're quick, they're fast, and uh, like I said, both of them are undefeated to start the game. Ball handoff to the halfback, and that's going to be a stop and a loss from about eight yards on that play. I'd like to, uh, again, welcome our viewers to the game tonight. And this one is a little different. Uh, the eighth grade had a game in um, Glenver. That traveled down to um, Glenver yesterday evening and played the uh, Highlanders. And so tonight we just got the JV game against the Bobcats of Radford. Hand off to Braden Chafin on a third down and about 17 yards. He picked up about three yards on the play. It's going to bring up a third down and 15, 17 to go. Six, six minutes left in the first quarter. Buffalo's not sustaining much on the ground yet, having not attempted a pass. And the Bobcats from Radford uh, playing some stellar defense, um, both sweeps. So uh, third down and long for the Buffaloes and see if they can convert on this play. Nichols dropping back for a pass, throwing long. He's got his man at the uh, about the 30-yard line of the Bobcats, and that uh, that pass is good for a pickup of about, like I said, about 20, 30 yards, and taking that ball down to the 34-yard line of the Bobcats. So that was Nichols' first attempt of the game tonight, and it was good for the first down. Buffalo's come out in I formation. Nichols under under the center. Left sweep to Brandon Chafin. Sweeping around the left side, picking up some good blocking. Enough to, I believe, give him another first down. Picked up about 15 yards, taking the ball down to about the 19, 20-yard line of the Bobcap. So, Buffalo's moving the ball on this first series of downs. Again, Nichols making one attempt, and he's one for one. Good pickup on that first uh, pass attempt play that he had for the night. Straight up the middle, Matthew Cockrum. It's going to be second down, but he's got good yardage on that first down attempt of about seven yards. Going to take the ball down inside the 15-yard line to about the 12. 
Likes about three yards of a first down again. Five minutes to go in this first quarter. Buffalo's driving on this first down, looking impressive. Nichols in the shotgun formation. He's going to take it on a bootleg. We've got a flag on the play. Nichols is going to take the ball down to the one-yard line, but we're going to have a hold against the Buffaloes, and that's going to bring the ball back uh, at least to the probably about the 20-yard line of the Buffaloes. Be second down. Second down and uh, I'd say about 12 to go for the first down on that hold and play. Good looking play. He nearly made it into the end zone, but they called a flag early on that play. The Super 7 for last week uh, appears that Stanton River is going to hold that first slot in the Super 7, and uh, they're off to a good start at 5 0 on the high school level. We got Nichols under center again, uh, Matthew Cockrum. We got another sweep, similar play. Nichols is taking the ball down inside, maybe to the 15-yard line. Good pickup on that play. It's going to bring up third down. Third down and about nine, maybe 10 yards to go on the first down. Again, the Super 7 for last week, what it ended up being was uh, Stanton River 5-0 and and William Bird in at second at 5-0. and Lord Botetot 6-0 and in Blacksburg 5-1. and We'll finish that up here in a few minutes. Nichols again under center. Aiden Taylor. Caleb Turner. I believe Caleb Turner on the carry. And sweep around to the left side. It's going to pick up about six yards on the play. It's going to be fourth down. Three yards to go to pick up the first down. Maybe uh, five yards, I guess. Buffaloes uh, looks to be they're going to attempt fourth down, fourth down play here. Got Taylor Fenton coming back into the ball game along with um, uh, Brenton Fireball, I believe it is. Taylor Fenton splitting wide right. Nichols under center. He's going to drop back to pass. He's being chased. He's turning upfield. He's got a block on the play. And with that, he may have stepped out of bounds at about the two-yard line. But that's going to be enough for a first down, Buffalo first down, to continue to keep this drive alive. Good heads-up play by the quarterback, Jared Nichols. They had him nearly caught in the backfield. 61, Brian LaCrosse was giving him chase of the, of the Bradford Bobcats, but just could not catch him. It's going to be uh, first and goal at this time. Nichols giving it off to 21. That's going to be Brandon Chafin. He's just going to waltz into the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown Buffaloes to begin this game. Nice drive from their 50-yard line. Two minutes, a little, low, well, a little less than three minutes to go in this game. Buffaloes drove the field length of the, at least from the 50-yard line, down for the score. Only had one penalty on that play, and most of the most of it was yardage gained by the Buffaloes. Avery Chafin in for the hold. Caleb Turner lined up for the extra point. Got a good snap, good hold. Kick is up. Kick is good. Buffalo seven. Your Rafford Bo the Bo Rafford Bobcats is nothing to start this game. So the Buffaloes have come out pretty much carrying over what they did last week. Again, I'm gonna re read back through the Super Seven from. Uh, for uh, last week, and we finished off with Blacksburg at five and one. Heritage is coming in 
Uh, at six, at the fifth slot, at five and one, Glenver six and zero, oh, Brookville at five and one, and your pole buster for the week six was Gretna at six and zero. Oh. So we got quite a few good teams out there on the varsity level that's playing some great ball game. We'll be hosting uh, the Rafford Bobcats varsity team on Friday night. So you don't want to miss that game. Going to be the um, the sixth on Friday night. So come out to see the see the cats and the buffaloes play in that game. Caleb Turner on the kickoff, recovered by Elliot Grayson of the Bobcats on the 35-yard line to begin this drive for the Bobcats. So off to a good start tonight. This is your host, Gary Reedy, bringing you the game for the citizens' viewers. Again, if you get a chance, stop by and see us at the office. Um, any services that you may need, uh, upgrades, uh, changes that we, we can uh, help you with, be glad to do so. Stop by any time during the week or on Saturdays. Got a flag on the play on the Bobcats to begin this uh, possession. And it is a legal procedure on the Bobcats. It's going to take them back, set them back by five yards. It's going to make it first down and 15 on this initial drive for them. Got Jersey, Jersey Johnson. Uh, in shotgun formation for the Bobcats. And fake handoff to uh, Tanner on left on a right sweep, and he was a keeper up the middle. Buffalo's had that snuffed out and for actually a three-yard loss on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and uh, 13 to go for the Bobcats. Good play by the Buffaloes. They had that and well played. Again, the Buffaloes look sharp. They're a big, strong, physical, quick feet. Impressive team. In the round sweep again, the number four on Tanner for the Bobcats, and he is going to be out of bounds. And about the 32, 33-yard line is going to bring up a third down and 10 for them. Buffalo's had that covered. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Got a fast-moving ball game here. Just one penalty so far in the game. And the quarterback is going to be in a shotgun formation for the Bobcats. Buffalo's got four up front. It's going to be a, a sweep around the right. And I've got to give credit to Micaiah Wahlberg for the Buffaloes on that sack. Uh, quarterback could not make it around the end and actually lost about five yards on the play. It's going to bring up a big fourth down play and about 20 yards to go for the Bobcats. Ball setting on the 25 of the Bobcats are in a punt formation. We got uh, Braden Chafin back along with uh, Jared Nichols on the return. Punts up. It's going to be a short punt. It's going to drop in about the 40-yard line of the Bobcats. So it ended up being about a 15-yard punt for the Bobcats, and it's going to be a change of downs. And Buffalo's going to get the ball on the 30, uh, about the 42, 43-yard line to begin this second possession of the game. Got Luke Phillips split wide right. Got Jared Nichols behind center in shotgun formation. One backfield, Braden Chafin. Jared Nichols dropping back. He's going to bring it up. He's going to bring it up the middle. Tuck it in and carry. He's going to take it out to about the 40, 
two-yard line, a pickup of about six yards on the play. Bringing up a second down for the Buffaloes. Good decision on Jared Nichols's part not to throw that ball into uh, in good coverage. Either throw it away or tuck it and run. It's good. It's a good heads-up play by Jared. I believe we're going to have a timeout on the field. And that being the case, we're going to hear from our sponsors at Blue Ridge Cafe. The Blue Ridge Cafe offers comfort food in the heart of downtown Floyd. We serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Saturday, and 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday. Enjoy a delicious meal with locally sourced meats, veggies, and breads. Visit BlueRidgeCafeFloyd.com for our complete menu. There have been many owners over the years, but the love of Southern comfort food has stayed the same. Stop in today at Floyd's own Blue Ridge Cafe. We're back to the Buffalo field in uh, tonight's game, and uh, we still have a 7 to nothing lead by the Buffaloes, and uh, we've got a timeout called by the Bobcats of Radford, so uh, we're going to hear um, a piece from our sponsors at AIM, uh, AIM High Driving School. AIM High Driving School in Floyd offers a variety of courses to help you achieve all of your driving goals. Longtime and novice drivers alike will benefit from the quality education offered by our professional, experienced, and patient staff who are licensed and DMV certified with yearly FBI background checks. Get the individual attention you need at a time that works for you. Visit aimhighdrivingschool.com or call 540-904-7381. Okay, I'm Gary Reedy, and we're back to Buffalo Field, and um, we've got just a short 18 seconds, 15 seconds left in the first quarter of this game against your Buffaloes and the visiting uh, Bobcats from Radford. We've got a player um, on the field that's down, I believe is a Bobcat player, um, tending, they're attending to him right now, and we're going to uh, take this moment for to hear from our sponsors at Farm Bureau. My dad was a farmer and president of a local Farm Bureau. He'd say, take care of the little things and the big things will come. Virginia Farm Bureau excels at the little things, like personalized service, fast claim processing, and competitive rates. By insuring your car with them, you support the big things like farming, agriculture, and the Virginia way of life. And all you have to do is drive. Join me as a friend of the farm today and visit vfbinsurance.com to get a quote or call your local agent. Okay, well that, we're back at Buffalo Field and we've got nine seconds, nine seconds left in this first quarter. Buffalo's ahead seven to nothing. On that last play, Andrew Olverson of the Bobcats went down and he seems to be okay. He's walking off on his on his own. Might be a maybe a cramp or maybe an ankle, but uh, seems to be okay. They'll probably get working to get some attention to him as he gets off the field. And uh, again, you know, both teams look uh, very compatible in terms of size, speed. Um, Buffalo's just got. Some uh, so they have some good uh, good productivity to begin the first quarter. So we're at the end of the first quarter, and that having been said, let's uh, hear a short word from our friends at Nationwide and Dirk Davis. All right, 
Welcome back, uh, Buffalo fans. And we're uh, at the start of the second quarter. Floyd County's seven, and you're and the uh, Bradford Bobcats zero at this time. The Buffaloes have driven the ball well, picking up most of the yardage on the ground. Uh, we had one completion from Jared Nichols. Jared Nichols is back in a shotgun formation. Uh, end around sweep uh, to. Um, Braden Chafin on that play, and it's going to pick up enough yardage for the first down. It's going to move the sticks. Jared did a great job on that play, keeping the ball until the very last moment on the pitch. And then he pitched it to Braden Chafin, and Braden had good concentration, turned the corner and picked up good yardage. Nichols under center. Got the ball, Aiden Taylor on the carry on the left, left tackle. Another, another pickup of about five yards. Going to make it second down and about five to go. Ball setting about the, uh, tw about the 30, about the 24 yard line of the Bobcats. Again, Buffalo's getting the ball in good field position on that short punt by the Bobcats. It's about a 15-yarder, more of a shank. Ball handoff, uh, quick tall, a uh, quick handoff to um, Mason Keith of the Buffaloes, going off right tackle. It's going to pick up a few yards, not much, but it's going to make a third down and about four or five yards to go, putting the ball on the 23-yard line of the Bobcats. Floyd is taking the ball into the sun, so it could be a if a pass of Jared Nichols is in it into the sunlight, it's going to be tough to tough to pick up. This ball is handed off this time to um, number thirty-four. Didn't pick up any yardage. May have lost maybe three on the play. It's going to bring up a fourth down. Ball is going to set on the 27-yard line of the uh, Bobcats. Appears the Buffaloes may be going for this on fourth down. We've got Tyler Fenton and Luke Phillips coming into the game for the Buffaloes. Going to have Fenton under center in our formation. Snap to Fenton. Fenton's going to drop back for a pass. Tackler missed him. Still going to make the pass and actually did. Ball was caught by Nichols, Nicholas Jones right on the sidelines. And it's going to be, I believe, short of the first down by about two, maybe three yards. It's going to turn the ball over to the Bobcats of Radford. If he could have ran that pattern about three yards deeper, they would have had themselves a first down. Excellent play by Nichols on the scramble and to find Nicholas Jones on that rollout. Just didn't have enough yardage on the reception. Yards after catch. That, if you can pick up two or three yards after you catch a ball, that helps a lot. Uh, back in the shotgun formation, Handoff is to Camry Tanner for the Bobcats. He's not a very big guy. He's only five foot seven, one thirty-five, but he's really fast. Quick feet. Picked up about three, maybe five yards on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and five for the Bobcats. And five minutes to go left in this first half. Buffalo still ahead, seven to nothing. Defense playing some good ball. Shotgun snap. Quarterback keeper up the middle. It's going to be a no gainer on that one for Tanner. It's going to bring up a third down and again about five yards to go. Buffalo's playing st uh, stiff defense to begin this game. It's 
It's a big third down play for the Bobcats uh, to convert this, this play. If not, they'll probably end up having to punt. Tanner taking the shotgun snap, and he's not going to go anywhere again. And we've got uh, Nicholas Jones in on the sack. Tanner tried to take it around the corner, and Nicholas Jones had that one all figured out, and he was not going to let him escape around the corner. So that was a great sack on his part. Throw him back for a loss. Going to bring up a fourth down, 15 yards to go. It's going to uh, put the Bobcats deeper in their own territory. Wouldn't be surprised if we wouldn't see a block a block kick attempt right here by the Buffaloes. Snap. Kick is off. Good punt this time. Buffaloes went to attempt to handle the kickoff. That was Braden Chafin. On the receiving part of that punt. And I don't believe he handled the punt cleanly. Dropped the ball. It was a shorter punt. It wasn't that long. Maybe another 15, 20 yarder at the most. And he had to come up and mishandle the punt. And has turned the ball over to the Bobcats. So that's going to be the first turnover of the game for the Buffaloes. Tanner behind center, taking the quarterback keeper up the middle. It's going to be stopped maybe with a yard or two at the most on, on the gain on that play. Again, folks, I'm glad you're here with us tonight. It's a beautiful evening, not a cloud in the sky, cool weather. If you're in the sun, you feel good. If you're in the cool, you're going to be a little chilly. But it's a great time for football. Bobcats in a uh, shotgun formation again. Tanner sweeping uh, right. Uh, the ball is misplayed by Jerry Reeves Johnson, who was um, in a shotgun formation for the Bobcats. Loss of about eight yards on the play. It's going to bring up third down and 18 We've got another Bobcat down at this time, it looks like, on the field. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to hear from our folks at Autoville Auto Repair. Why take your vehicle outside of the county for repairs and services when you drive past us every day? Autoville Auto Repair provides you with quality parts and services. Our local full service facility provides bumper to bumper services, scheduled maintenance repairs, state inspections, and more for most all makes and models. They also have a waiting room or provide local shuttles if needed. Our ASC Mastered Certified Technicians have stood behind their work for over 29 years now. So make your way over to Audeville Auto Repair at 610 East Main Street in Floyd for any of your auto repair needs. Like us on Facebook and give us a call at 540-745-4224. Yeah, welcome back to Buffalo Field. Uh, we had an injured Bobcat on the last play. They got him up. That player was Brad Marion for the Bobcats. He seems to be either a knee or an ankle one, but he is on his walking off on his own um, own power. So hopefully he's okay. We got two minutes and 52 seconds left in this first half. Buffaloes are ahead by seven to nothing. Um, Buffaloes have pretty much kept the Bobcats in their own portion of their field, defensive-wise, and uh, just that one turnover by the Buffaloes. Uh, it's been a good, it's good, it's a good offensive and a defensive game going on. Tanner behind center, rolling out. He's got his man open, and the pass be dropped. Intended um, for Seth Dunbar. Good defensive play, breaking up that pass for Dunbar. It's going to bring up a third down and 15 for the Bobcats. Buffaloes are going to drop back. 
I believe that's going to make it, make it fourth down. If the change of downs, it's going to be fourth down. Bobcats are going to punt, and we've got Nichols back received along with um, Braden Chafin. They're going to let this ball bounce at about the 45-yard line. Again, about a 15, 20-yard punt. Not much air time under that ball. Going to have a change of possession here with the Buffaloes taking over first and 10 on the Bobcat 47-yard line. Your Buffaloes are leading this game, 7 to nothing. Again, most of the yardage by the Buffaloes have been on the ground. Maybe uh, three or four attempts by Nichols. Um, Nichols is under center. Dropping back to pass, being chased. Staying in the pocket still. Uh, ball's knocked loose, but I believe his arm was in motion. So I believe the ball is going to be down. Yeah, that's going to be an incomplete pass, or it should be. And it's going to turn the ball. It's going to drop the ball back to the 45-yard um, line of the Buffalo. It's going to be a sack, considered a sack on the play. In lieu of an incomplete pass, like it's second down and um, yeah, about 17 yards to go. Nichols behind center. Pitch to um, oh yeah, pitch to um, Brayton Chafin, cutting up back up against the grain, going back up field, picked up at least. 12, 13 yards, going to make a third down and seven yards to go. Great run by Braden Chafin to elude about four tacklers. Going to have uh, Nichols again under center. Eye formation by the Buffaloes. Nichols is going to drop back. Uh, he's got a handoff to... Um, Braden Chafin again, and that should be enough to move the sticks, and it is. Great run by Braden Chafin to pick up that needed yardage. Going to be first down and 10 on the Bobcat 36-yard line. Buffalo's moving the ball. We've got Taylor Fenton wide left. Shotgun formation. Tech Nichols seen a, seen a hole and a gap, and he took off. Quarterback keeper up in the middle. Just going to move the ball again. Down uh, about the 31-yard line. Pick up of about five yards on the play. 30 seconds to go in this first half. Buffalo's ahead seven to nothing. Got a timeout on the field. And uh, that being said, we're going to hear from our Sponsors at Bell's Towing. Bell's Towing and Recovery, located at 222 East Main Street in Floyd, provides auto and truck towing and recovery services, vehicle lockout service, and secure auto storage with weekend access. They have two 21-foot rollback towing trucks equipped with four-wheel drive for those winter days. Contact owner Tommy Bell 24 hours a day at 540-745-3364. Bell's Towing and Recovery, serving Floyd County and surrounding areas for over 30 years. Okay, welcome back, fans. And again, score seven to nothing. Nichols under center. 29 seconds to go. He dropped the handoff, or the snap on the on the, the play, and uh, was able to recover it for no gain. It's going to be third down and about seven to go, and the Buffaloes are going to call a timeout with 25 seconds left to go in this Half, and uh, we're going to take a break and hear from uh, the folks at C.W. Harmon. For farm and building supplies, make it C.W. Harmon & Son on Route 221 in Floyd. With everything for your home, lawn and garden, and the farm, why go anywhere else? From the right tool by names you know and trust, to the perfect color stain for your new deck. New deck? 
Yeah, we can take care of that too. Riding, pushing, you name it, C.W. Harmon & Son has the perfect tool and equipment for any job, large or small. Visit us on the web, or better yet, come see us. Family owned and serving with pride. That's C.W. Harmon & Son in Floyd. All right, we're back at Buffalo Field. Nichols has got four seconds to make a snap on the ball. He takes the ball back. He's dropped back. He's got got the ball completed in, uh, <clears throat> to Avery Chafin. Avery Chafin, don't believe he may have got out of bounds. He might have on the sideline. Um, yep. He's got a first down anyway, so that's going to take stop the clock long enough to move the sticks. And the clock is going to start again. 14 seconds left in this first half. Might be time enough for one more play. Nichols in a hurry-up formation, uh, taking snap. And around play. It's going to take the ball down. Uh, that was Caleb Tanner on the end around play and took the ball down to about the one-yard line and like one block of getting the ball into the end zone for another Buffalo touchdown. But that's going to be the end of your half. Buffalo 7 and the uh, visitors, visitors Bob visiting Bobcats from Radford, 0. Now we're going to hear from our sponsor uh, at Slaughter's Supermarket. Slaughter Supermarket, located at 536 Floyd Highway, South and Floyd, is a Galaxy Food Center and is open seven days a week to serve you. They carry a large selection of quality fresh meats, groceries, and produce. Their delicatessen is open daily, providing lunch specials, deli meats and cheeses, salads, sandwiches, and baked goods. Also, check out Slaughter's Garden Center and Christmas Shop, where you'll find a great selection of trees, shrubs, annuals, and perennials. Slaughter Supermarket is open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And over the visiting Bobcats from Radford. Again, uh, most of the offense by the Buffaloes pretty much been like that all year long, actually. Protected the ball well. Buffalo's going to kick off uh, to the Bobcats. Got Caleb Turner underway, kicking the ball. Bobcats pick, the, pick it up on about the 32-yard line. Alex Hay Howard on the return to the 28 of the Bobcats to start this second half. Just want to make sure that uh, the, our viewers uh, are aware and know of our annual meeting that will be coming up on Saturday, October the 21st. Uh, registration is going to begin on that at 11 o'clock, and you can come in. Get registered. The meeting's at uh, 1230, and we're going to have some door prizes along with a uh, traditional chicken dinner following the meeting. So come on out to the annual meeting on the 21st of October. Bobcats were in a shotgun formation. Um, the lateral pass over to uh, Cam Camry Tanner. Going to be a loss of about seven yards on the play. It's going to bring up second down and uh, 16 to go for the Bobcats to start out this second half. To go along with that Saturday, uh, Saturday, October 21st, also make a note of this. October the 21st, um, pardon me, October the 31st on Halloween from 4 to 7. Put that down on your calendars to drop by at our office at Citizens there on Route 8 and come in and uh, the, the theme on that night will be uh, the Marvel, Marvel characters. So come, come around 4 o'clock and uh, between 4 and 7 and we'll have some uh, treats and some uh, handouts for you and possibly some, uh, some picture taken too to go along with that. So uh, come by and have a good time with, with us at Citizens that night on October the 31st between four to seven. Bobcats uh, trying another play around in. Was sacked for a loss on that play. It's going to make it third down and 22 to go. Johnson back on the shotgun snap and um, 
Buffalo's had that figured out. 65 for the Buffalo's. Was Cody Bledsoe in on the tackle? It's going to drop him back even further. It's going to put the ball on about the uh, 12, 13 yard line of the Bobcats. Fourth down and uh, 20 some odd yards to go. So the Buffaloes have got him going backwards to begin this second second half. Alex Hay uh, Howard on the punt. Buffaloes are going to let this one. You go a good kick to the 45 yard line of the Bobcats from his own end zone. So the uh, Buffalo's going to get the ball at the 45 to start this second half after the um, after the Bobcats failed to make a first down on their first series of plays. Again, both these teams coming in undefeated. Buffaloes have been pretty much a high-powered offense. Uh-oh, Nichols handoff to uh, Brandon Chafin. Wasn't as clean as usual, and Brandon uh, lost a handle on that, and that's going to turn the, the ball over to the Bobcats. So a costly turnover. It's going to give them the ball back at about the 47. We'll see if the uh, Buffaloes can, the de defense can step up and have a three and out here against the Bobcats and get this ball back. Just wasn't a real clean handoff. That was probably only the uh, second turnover of the game. They've, they've actually had a couple of snaps that were dropped, but they were able to recover their own ball. But that, that one was a turnover to the Bobcats. We're going to have a timeout on the field, and we're going to have a short message from our sponsors at Vicky's Tax Income. Vicky's Tax Service in Floyd has been in business since 1989. Our practice includes preparation of individual, small business, and farm taxes. We offer payroll services and bookkeeping. We have many clients using QuickBooks, and we offer support for clients using this software for their business records. Call Vicky's today at 540-745-2066 or stop by our office at 116 West Main Street in Floyd. Going to avoid any big plays by the Bobcats. Howard behind center. Ball handed off to Tanner and Buffaloes again in on the tackle. Going to be a loss on that play. It's going to take it back a few more yards. Going to bring up about fourth down and 25 yards to go for the first down. Howard's going to drop back in punt formation. Uh, we've got Nichols 
and Braden Chafin to receive the punt. Punts off. Fair catch signaled by Braden Chafin at the 50-yard line. So after a few turnovers and a stop on downs, uh, Buffalo's going to take the ball back at about the 50-yard line to start this drive with four minutes left in this uh, third quarter. Buffalo's ahead again by seven, seven to nothing. Good defense by the Buffaloes. Haven't gave up a lot of points this year at all. Been scoring some big, big numbers in the 30s and 40s. Have had difficult this game. Um, been rushing the ball well, but the passing has been off the mark to, uh, this evening. Got uh, Fenton in motion. Handoff to Aiden Taylor for a big gainer. It's going to pick up 15 yards on the play. Take the ball all the way down to the 36, 37 yard line of the Bobcats. First down, Buffaloes. Been biggest play of the buff for the Buffaloes this second half. Nichols under center, I formation. Handoff to Aiden Taylor again. It's going to be a big gainer. Aiden Taylor picking up about 25 yards on the play. Going to move the sticks. It's going to put the ball down at the 20, about the 15-yard line of the Bobcats. Floyd coming out and moving the ball, blocking well. Moving the ball on the sides, letting the backs turn them up the corners. For big gainers, Nichols under center. Ball handed off to Matthew Cockrum. Still running. Had about four Bobcats that missed him. Had a hand on him, but couldn't bring him down. All the way down to about the three-yard line. That's going to... That should be a first down for the Buffaloes. It's going to be inside the five. Four downs to go for a Buffalo touchdown. Uh, let's see here. I believe we may have had another fumble on the play. The Bobcats have recovered the ball on the five-yard line, so they were able to dig that ball out. He broke about four tackles. And they were able to pull that ball out from him and recover it for the uh, second recover turnover of this half. Quarterback keeper. Picked up about two yards on the play. Going to make it second down and eight. Ball sitting on about the seven-yard line of the Bobcats. Bobcats have run pretty much mostly shotgun formation. They haven't passed the ball down the field a lot. Passed the ball left and right, east and west, east and west, but have not done a lot of north and south running. Tanner on the keeper. Off the left tackle. Probably picked up enough. Yeah, he picked up enough for the first down, so he picked up about nine yards on the carry. Bring the ball out to about the 16-yard uh, line of the Bobcats. So it's going to be first down and 10 for the Rafford Bobcats. Buffalo's given up enough yardage on that play for a first down. Looks to be Tanner. Camry Tanner on the keeper. For the Bobcats going up off of right guard, right tackle. Picked up about two yards on the play. Buffalo's looking for a stop here. It's going to be the same formation for the uh, Bobcats. Tanner on the keeper. 
trying to turn the corner and six or eight Buffaloes over there. Micah Wahlberg, I can see him on the play. It's going to probably be a loss on the play. Drop him back about five yards. Going to be about third down and 12 yards to go for the Bobcats for the first down. Ball sitting um, inside the 20, about the 17 yard line of the Bobcats. Third down and 12. About a minute, minute 24 to go in this third quarter. Not a lot of penalties in this game. Don't believe there's been one in the second half. And we may have timeout on the field here. By your Buffaloes. And uh, we're going to take a break and hear from our folks at Blue Ridge Cafe. The Blue Ridge Cafe offers comfort food in the heart of downtown Floyd. We serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Saturday, and 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday. Enjoy a delicious meal with locally sourced meats, veggies, and breads. Visit BlueRidgeCafeFloyd.com for our complete menu. There have been many owners over the years, but the love of Southern comfort food has stayed the same. Stop in today at Floyd's own Blue Ridge Cafe. at 12 to go in this third quarter but your buffaloes are up seven to nothing and again for the folks that are just coming uh just viewing in now we're on channel 20 of your cable network citizens cable network if you want to view the games it's going to be a quarterback keeper um, again by tanner for the bobcats going to pick up about three maybe four yards on the carry it's going to bring up a fourth down and if you want to see uh, your middle school and JV games on replay, um, you can turn those on at 8 o'clock in the morning and at 8 o'clock at night and see the replays and your varsities are on, five, uh, on Friday nights or live and then they're rebroadcasted again at the 8 and the uh, a.m. hour and the 8 p.m. hour each day of the week. Don't forget about the home game Friday night. You'll have your Buffaloes hosting the Bobcats from Radford. It'll be a big district game. Uh, Buffaloes uh, off to a good start this season. And Radford's uh, struggling a little bit. Um, they got one win, and the Buffaloes, I believe, has got about three, maybe four wins. We've got a timeout on the field. And uh, we're going to take a break and hear from our folks with AIM High Driving School. AIM High Driving School in Floyd offers a variety of courses to help you achieve all of your driving goals. Long-time and novice drivers alike will benefit from the quality education offered by our professional, experienced, and patient staff who are licensed and DMV certified with yearly FBI background checks. Get the individual attention you need at a time that works for you. Visit aimhighdrivingschool.com or call 540-904-7381. All right, welcome back. Got 40 seconds to go in this third quarter. Bobcats have got fourth down and about four to go. They're going to punt. Uh, they're going to. This is a fake punt. The ball was uh, centered back to Howard for the Bobcats on the fake, and he delivered a uh, a strike over the center of the field. Passing it to Camry Tanner for a big gain all the way down to the Buffalo 39-yard line. A little bit of trickery right there uh, on fourth down and about four yards to go inside their own territory. And I believe we've got a flag on the play over there on the Buffalo, I mean on the Bobcat sideline. It's going to be unsportsmanship, I believe. No, it's not going to be. It's not going to move the ball. So that might have been just a drop flag by the referee. 
Tanner's got the ball with the Bobcats, moving the ball about four yards on the play. He's going to bring up a second down for the Bobcats. This has been the really only threat that they've had the whole game, and Buffaloes did a good job stopping that fake punt. He only lacked one or two players breaking it all the way, tying this game up. Pierce, we're going to have a timeout on the field, and uh, we will take a break and hear from our folks at Farm Bureau. My dad was a farmer and president of a local Farm Bureau. He'd say, take care of the little things and the big things will come. Virginia Farm Bureau excels at the little things like personalized service, fast claim processing, and competitive rates. By insuring your car with them, you support the big things like farming, agriculture, and the Virginia way of life. And all you have to do is drive. Join me as a friend of the farm today and visit vfbinsurance.com to get a quote or call your local agent. Okay, we're at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Buffalo's up seven to nothing over the Bobcats from Radford. Bobcats uh, attempting a uh, a fake punt, which was successful on their last series of down, which was been able to move the ball inside the Buffalo 40-yard line down to the 37. And, folks, if you can, come in and see us. Uh, we've got Buffalo cards available. I believe they're $10, but what they'll do, they'll get you a lot of discounts, um, possibly some soft drinks and things like that at, at your visiting meal. Uh, you go out and eat, present those cards, and uh, they'll honor those discounts for you. And um, you will support the uh, football program here for the Buffalo. So come by and ask for the Buffalo card cards at citizens, uh, any, any day of the week. It's going to bring up now a third down and five to go for the Bobcats of Radford, seven minutes to go in the game. Buffalo's up still seven to nothing. Howard back in a, um, in a shotgun formation is going to be a keeper up the middle. I believe he's going to be a shard. It possibly might be a first down. May have to measure that. They're going to give it to him. It was enough for a first down, so that's going to move the chains. It's going to put the ball inside the Buffalo 30-yard line, about the 29-yard line. Bobcats still driving down the field after the fake punt. Keeper back to the quarterback, Johnson. Took it off right tackle. May have gained a couple of yards. Going to bring up a second down. Again, just keep in mind, if, you've, if you can, come out and see and support the Buffaloes this Friday night. They'll be home hosting the Bobcats from Radford. Be a big district game, Three Rivers district game for the Buffaloes and the Bobcats. Howard in a uh, shotgun formation. It's going to take a snap. Hand off up the middle. It's going to be no gain on the carry. Bring up a third down and about 10 yards to go for the, Bob the Bobcats from Radford. Six minutes left in the game. Buffalo's playing some stellar def defense right at the moment. Get this ball back. Bradford's going to have to come out with a pretty good play here to pick up 10 yards. Buffalo's is just stingy and have not given up any big yardage outside the one fake. Handoff back to Tanner. He's sweeping to the left. He's upended... Um, Upended by uh, Micaiah Wahlberg of the Buffaloes. May have picked up. No, he's going to lose probably three yards on the play. It's going to bring up a fourth down and 12 for the Bobcats. Ball setting on about the 31-yard line of the Buffaloes. 
appears the Bobcats are going to go for it on fourth down again. Nichols is back as if he'd be re- attending to receive a punt. But they're going to drop they're going to drop back in a shotgun formation again and throw a deep pass to number 11 and the ball is going to be picked off by the Buffaloes at about the 15-yard line. Flag on the play. It's going to be a legal procedure against the Bobcats and it's going to be declined by your Buffaloes and it's going to be first and 10 for the Buffaloes on that interception. So that's big, big defensive play by the Buffaloes to stop this Bob, Bobcat drive and late in this fourth quarter. Four minutes to go. Bobcat, uh, Buffaloes are going to take it over at about the 13, 14 yard line of their own side of the field. Nichols under center. Good, good strong run by Aiden Taylor. May have picked up about three yards on the play. Securing the ball. Both hands on the ball. Doesn't want to have any turnovers this deep in your own territory. Luke Phillips bringing in a new play for the Buffaloes. Jerry Nichols under center. Eye formation for the Buffaloes. Aiden Taylor again on the keeper. Handoff from Nichols. Off tackle. Picked up about 15 yards on the play. It's going to be a first down for you, Buffaloes. Ball all the way out to the 30-yard line. Give them some breathing room. Nichols again under center. Eye formation. They're going to let Aiden Taylor, I believe, run run the ball the rest of this game, it appears to be. He doesn't seem to be tired. Good legs. May have an injury on on the field. Number 10 for the uh, Bobcats is uh, Brent Mayberry, a little slow getting up. He's going off the field on his own. Clock underway. Tyler Fenton and Luke Phillips back into the game, bringing in a play. Both Fenton and um, Phillips Wide right, Nichols under center. It's a keeper sweep right by Nichols. Jared Nichols taking the ball all the way down to the 35-yard line of the of the Bobcats. Big keeper by, by Jared Nichols, picking up a big yardage on that play. Buffalo's driving. Three minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Setting on the 38-yard line, Nichols under center. Cockrum. Taylor in the backfield. That was Taylor on the keep up the middle for another first down. Taylor's picking up some yardage in this first half. He may be approaching nearly 100 yards. For the game, Buffaloes have moved the ball fairly well, haven't thrown the ball very much. Nichols taking the snap under center again. Hand off to Mason Keith on the on the left left hand off tackle. It's going to bring up a second down and uh, about five. Picked up five on the carry. Ball setting um, on about the 20, 24 yard line of the Bobcats. Nichols with the play fake. Keeper to the right. Penalty flag on the play. Personal foul on the, against the Bobcats. 
face mask on the takedown of Jared Nichols. That may be a 15-yarder or at least half the distance to the goal. Again, remember, folks, uh, our annual business meeting that's coming up October the 21st. Registration begins at 11 o'clock. And our meeting is at 1230. And we'll have door prizes for that day. Always uh, enjoy doing that. And a meal afterwards. Nichols under center. Ball handoff to Braden Chafin. But we got a, play, a, a flag on the plate. Illegal procedure uh, against the Buffaloes. It's going to mark off 10 yards on that. So it's going to bring up a... Um, First down and about, yeah, let's give him first down and 15 to go on that. So, five-yard penalty in a little of a 10. Clock down to about a minute 54 left in this game. Buffaloes need to protect the ball, not to have a costly turnover or a fumble. That could produce a bobcat touchdown. Handoff to uh, Braden Chafin off the left tackle. Good yardage on the play. Picked up about seven on that. It's going to make it second down and eight to go for the Bob uh, for the Buffaloes. Buffaloes looking maybe for a score here or at least run the clock down. Hand off straight up the middle on second down play. Maybe picked up about three yards on that. It's going to make it third down. It's going to put the ball about the 10 yard line of the Buffalo, of the of the Bobcats. Forty seconds to go. Buffalo's going to be able to get another playoff. Nichols under center. Taking the ball back. He's got a man open in the end zone, and that ball was intended for Tyler Fenton just out of his hands. He had it, and uh, he eluded him. Dropped the pass. It's going to stop the clock at 22 seconds. Buffalo's still up 7 to nothing. Going to have a fourth down and about eight yards to go for a Buffalo first down. It appears that they are going to go for it on fourth down. Nichols is on the uh, right-hand side keeper. He's going to sweep over to the uh, right side and elude a, elude a tackler, and he's going to take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Jared Nichols on, a, on an end-around sweep. In for seven points. It's going to bring it up to um, 13 to nothing in favor of your Buffaloes. Going to have Caleb Tanner on for the extra point with Avery Chafin holding for the attempt. Snap looks good. Holds good. Kicks up. And it is good. That's going to make your Buffaloes 14 and your then the Rafford Bobcats 0. 17 seconds left in this game. You'll have the Bobcat, uh, the Buffaloes kicking off to the Bobcats. So you're up at dawn, kid, look alive You've been saving for a big man cave Good luck with that, Dave You made the most of your retirement plan So you better learn to drive that RV man So many things you're doing in your life 
nationwide is on your side. All right, Caleb, Caleb Turner on the kickoff, and Bobcats uh, return the ball to about their own 35-yard line. Clock is stopped while they move the change at nine seconds. Again, for the folks who just turning their sets on and checking the ball game out, uh, last score was Jared Nichols on a uh, keeper, fourth down keeper to the right-hand side. It was a sweep, had to beat one man, took it in for the touchdown. And the clock is underway. And I don't believe the Bobcats are going to have another play in this game. That's going to make the final score your Floyd County Buffaloes 14 and the Rafford Bobcats 0. Game well played by both teams. Both teams come in undefeated, and your, Bob, and your Buffaloes are going to go away still undefeated, and that's going to be the first loss uh, for the Bobcats from Radford. Again, folks, remember those dates that I shared with you. Come out Friday night, support the Buffaloes as they host the visiting Radford Bobcats. And again, it's been a pleasure to be with you. This is your host, Gary Reedy, and I wish you a good evening. And uh, again, join us uh, in a few days as we uh, Savarshi takes on the Bobcats from Radford. And good night, folks.